We have come to the Britomart railway station to take a train for the first time and possibly maybe the only time while we're here in Auckland. We've got our at-hop cards which are basically your ticket to ride, they're like an Oyster card in London. Metro. You just Metro card in New York, yeah you just um, charge them up with money online or through the app or through one of the kiosks or yeah one of the, there, there are actually ticket offices and then you just tag on and you tag off bus and train so we are going to be taking the train to Newmarket which is only a few stops from the CBD which is basically the downtown city centre and it should only cost two dollars and sixty four cents or something it's not that much it's four dollars if you pay by cash so if you walk up and just get a, a ticket out of the machine so let's go and see what it is like taking a train in New Zealand Well, first of all, we need to find out what platform we are going to go to. And I think there are several trains that go to Newmarket. In fact, it looks as though they all do. Look, there are trains going to the uh, airport as well. So we could take the South Line Papakura via Newmarket platform one due six. What does that mean? Six minutes? Yeah. Right. Oh, I see. Well, we may as well take that one. So, platform one. Where's that, Paul? All right, let's just go through. Oh, goodness me. Yes, use my card. Well, it just says trains down here, so I guess we just go down. Oh, I see platform one. Heading down the escalator to the platforms. Maybe to get there, I think. Let's take a look at the map. This train goes to Papakura. And there's only two stops to Newmarket. Welcome aboard the Southern Line service to Papakura via Newmarket. The next station is Parnell. <coughs> the pathways from Parnell Station may not be suitable for some customers. Please consider Newmarket or Britomart as alternatives. If there is an emergency, please use the emergency stop button located near the passenger doors. Your AT hop card or ticket may be checked at any time. Ariparianga going outside now. Oh, I think we were along this road yesterday on the bus. 
down by all the cargo shipping areas. And I do remember seeing a train on a, uh, a bridge while we were on the bus. So these are walk-through trains, but it's in two sections of three cars and it's a six car train. So you can walk through the three carriages. If you want to go further, then you'd have to get out at a station and move on to the other set of three carriages. They're very clean, nice trains, smell nice as well. Oh look, there's Marcus Motors. It's quite slow moving as we pass through the suburbs. We are now arriving at Parnell. Pathways from Parnell Station may not be suitable for some customers. Please consider Newmarket or Bredemart as alternatives. Is this like a usual sort of thing? Or is there like maybe a pedestrian crossing or something? You know, it's very weird. Oh, maybe he was working here. That's the only logical explanation. Well, we have arrived at Newmarket and it's at school, rush hour. All the kids have just got out and they are boarding the train. There's a customer service person behind us to make sure they all get on. And uh, yeah, I have to say it was a very slow ride, but a smooth ride. Really nice trains, comfortable, I mean, basic, but comfortable. Well, no, they were basic, I mean, no, no frills. Um, just single set uh, pairs of seats along the way, no facing seats. No facing seats, which I think is better. So there we are. It is departing. And of course, we will be taking a train back into the Britomar later on. Okay, we are ready to leave New Market Station. What did you think of the trains, Paul, overall? It smelled nice. Yeah, it smelled like quite clean. 
Overall, I thought the trains were pretty good. Well, the main reason for coming to Newmarket is Westfield. Well, for us anyway, or at least for Paul. And I'm going to leave <laughs> you with Paul as he takes you round to the shops while I sit in a coffee shop, possibly Starbucks, and edit some episodes. Lots of interesting stores, lots of brands that I know nothing about, but I think this is a good way to find out is just by walking around the shopping mall. In which case it's called Westfield. I see H&M, Platypus, Huffer, which might just be for women. General Pants Company looks interesting, I think. Is it just pants? I think it's just for women. Duct Tape Workshop. Nail salon called The Art of Nails. Coffee Republic. I think that that's an espresso bar. Okay. Farmers, I've been to before. Interesting name though, I think. Okay, I am crossing the bridge over. Down below, I see the brand Balenciaga. Oh. Expensive stuff. Okay, I'm gonna see what they have on the ground floor. This is such a really ginormous Westfield. It's so big. I think it's sort of similar to the one that we have in West London. Louis Vuitton, anyone? Like I said, Balenciaga. Yves Saint Laurent. Gucci in my near distance. Burberry's over here. Look, coach. Michael Kors, anyone? Oh, and then there's Kaz. Nope. Too rich for my blood. I need to go somewhere else. Sorry about the strobing lights. Oh, look, right in front over there, across from Burberry, is the brand Alexander McQueen and next to that is Saint Laurent I think it used to be called Yves Saint Laurent and next to Alexander McQueen is Versace and right across over here is Gucci and then there's Nespresso good stuff oh look here Jimmy Choo Golden Goose Never heard of that brand. And finally, I would like to give a shout out to Jess who helped me with the sizing at Rod and Gun. Thank you very much for your help. Hey, we have a really special message for the viewers. And what might that be? You know what to do. Please subscribe to its Paul and Marcus on YouTube. Yeah, ora. Welcome to Parnell. Oh, yes. Well, tell us a little bit about this area because we are in a village. So, Parnell is a really affluent suburb in Auckland. And it was one of the first ones. And this is where most of the wealth resides in Auckland. And you do see quite grand buildings here. A lot of them are actually made out of wood, which I guess shows, you know, the longevity of them and how, how old they actually are, how long they've been here. But they are quite elaborate. This one is a Asian cuisine restaurant. Yes. A Chinese restaurant to you and me. Uh, and it looks very <laughs> well, It's got pricey. the Chinese lamps, but it's very decorative. And, and there are loads of boutiques and independent shops along the way. And restaurants and cafes and everything. And we've come just after lunchtime and we are hungry. But Very. I've just seen something really interesting What's over here. That? Look at this, public telephone, Parnell Village. And it actually has a telephone inside, which probably works. We'll have to have a little look.
it says please wait and then it says sorry I'm broken see list for nearest what? phone oh well and here I thought you might have been working well please subscribe anyway Well, it says that this is Lee Harvey, our dad and creator of Parnell Village, welcomes you to share the magic of a place made with his love for people, plants, simplicity, and the sun. Well, Lee Harvey certainly has brought out the sun today. Oh, that's good. So we're walking into Parnell Village now because I think, it, is it? This area is the shopping mm. part, right? And we are on the hunt for food. There is a r rhythm coffee, but I don't know whether they're open or not. But I do like these lanterns. If you're a regular to this show, you will always hear me say, oh, I do love a lantern. And look, here's two. Is this private down here? It looks like houses. I think so. But look at this. There's a nice view of the city. Yeah, but in front of that, look at that little house. Oh, wow. What is it? Yeah. Does someone live in there? Yeah. We need to look. Do you know what? Maybe it's a hobbit's house. Because we are in the land of the Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Oh, well, the coffee shop was closed. It was. And we are still on the hunt for food. Now it looks yeah. as though there is some development going on here because there are signs for new solution, apartments, maybe? yeah. But look at this, if you did stay here, oh my gosh, you would certainly get a room with a view. Here we have a traditional row of shops with the little hanging signs, which is just so synonymous with New Zealand and also These Australia. Things. Yeah, the little, the little awnings. And it's great because when it rains, and it does rain here, as we've experienced, that at least you can walk along the streets undercover yeah. to a certain extent. When we've been watching other people's YouTube videos from New Zealand, one thing that we have discovered is that um, outside of the main city areas, at least, that restaurants and shops close quite early, Why even as early as three o'clock. So I'm just slightly concerned that because we are here at around about that time, that <laughs> we have missed lunch and that everywhere is shut. The coffee shop was shut. Um, we haven't found any other restaurants yet. Oh, no. This could be getting desperate because I need to eat. No. Do you need to eat? So we are still on the lookout and the hunt to have a bite to eat. There, there is, is always an Indian restaurant. There's always this place. I'm not really in the mood for it. Indian, no. no. Sorry. Not for lunch. I am starving though. There has to be something. I think that there might be more stuff further down. We're walking past the Parnell Village shop sign again. I just find that this part is so picturesque. Yes. I love these buildings. Oh, there's a chocolate boutique. What's that? Chocolates, gifts, coffees, ice creams and cakes. <laughs> yes, well, that is still food. It's just not lunch. There's the Asian cuisine closed. There's a sushi bar coming up. It's closed as well, is it? Thai restaurant. It's open, I think. Is it? The Mojo Sushi Bar. Only takeaway from there. Oh dear. But there is still another part of Parnell to see. Oh, and there's a very interesting street coming up that I saw when we got off the bus before. Oh, right. It's called Gibraltar Crescent. Okay, we might be in luck. There's the Italian Long Lunch which hopefully means that lunch lasts beyond three o'clock. I mean, I hope so. 
<laughs> non solo pizza. Well, it said it's only open till two o'clock, so I don't know. A very expensive restaurant. But I see somewhere in front of us that says coffee and food. And I surely, surely, there will still be coffee and food at this time. I think this is, this is rather disappointing because I think that I did have some high expectations about this place, but it just seems like it hasn't gone according to plan. So I'm kind of annoyed, to say the least. Well, here is food and coffee, or coffee and food, depending on what way you look at it. I don't know. And it's open. I'm not having cakes. But it's only cakes, yes. The Paw like Bar this? and Eatery. Oh. Okay. Now you might be asking, what day of the week is it? It's it's Tuesday. Is it Tuesday? <laughs> I think it is anyway. But is it? You would think that at three oh, yeah. in the afternoon, even on a Tuesday, that restaurants would be yeah. open. Yeah. But sadly not. There are interesting shops. Look at this one. This is Passion for Paper, and I think that they sell an array of items, including um, these calendars from from what I could gather. It looks rather nice, actually. It is. All independent boutiques. Yes. It looks rather fetching, but I am starving, so I'm not looking for that at the moment. I see a Japanese restaurant ahead. Yeah. Maybe this place is closed. Looks like it. Paper plus. This is promising. It says Japanese restaurant and open in big letters, Paul. Oh my god. I think that we just have to go. Okay, in you go. Never mind the price. Just go down. There's a opening hours. Are we in luck? Oh, for goodness sake. So this have to do fast food. So the sign is actually wrong. Well, a Japanese restaurant not open. Oh. Burger fuel. No, surely, surely a burger. I saw bar. this before. Did you? At the last location we were at. Oh, I see. Well, you'd think that a burger bar would be open all day. <laughs> <laughs> the lights are on, but is anyone home? That is the question. Uh, I'm gonna say no. Well, I'm Although going to be I more optimistic. People. It says open. There's a sign that says open. Burger fuel. I see people
So burger fuel saved us, didn't it, Paul? It saved our bacon. And you had a bastard in there, didn't you? And it was a messy bastard. It certainly was. And mine was a barbecue roaster. Oh, barbecue bacon roaster. Roadster, even. <laughs> and I have had to put on my hoodie because it's gotten so cold. This is what I've noticed here in Auckland, New Zealand, that one minute it's raining and it's... Well, we had sunshine dry. all day today and it just started raining just out of the blue and it wasn't in the forecast, but at least it's not torrential um, rain that we had on and our first day. I have an umbrella. Yes. No, we still got a little bit of Parnell to look at, so let's go and take a look now. Are you kidding me? Now, of course, every restaurant that we walk Everywhere past is Everywhere is bloody... Oh. And it's not as if it is now evening service because no, it's, it's, not. it's four o'clock. Look, Paul, look over there. It's our very first dairy. I don't know what's a dairy. Basically, that is what they call convenience stores. They're not ice cream Sorry, parlors. Sorry, I don't understand that. I thought you meant a dairy, meaning dairy like ice cream. No, 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 no. They are basically convenience stores. They might sell ice cream as well, oh, but they're called okay. dairies. <laughs> I thought that that was gonna sell ice cream. So then I was like thinking, why are you wanting to have ice cream? Okay, thank you. So we've reached the end of Parnell. We have walked from one end to the other. Well, I think it is a rather interesting village. I think it would have been more helpful and better for us tourists visiting to have them open a bit longer to stretch out your business hours just so that we don't feel, um, what is that word, um, put off by coming back. Just a helpful hint, wink, wink, 